Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and in this session we are going to learn step by step from scratch how can we work with Playwright with the PyTest plugin. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So in this session we will start by understanding what's the difference between Playwright and Playwright with the PyTest plugin. Okay and when we get only Playwright and when we get Playwright with PyTest plugin what's the difference what all features do we get. We will also understand and answer the question can I install PyTest Playwright after installing Playwright that means let's say you have already installed Playwright and now you want to use the PyTest plugin with Playwright or the Playwright with the PyTest plugin so do you have to uninstall Playwright and then add PyTest Playwright or you can directly work with the same project so we will see this and we will answer this and then finally we will see a step by step demo on how you can work with Playwright with the PyTest plugin. Okay, so this will be very interesting and I will start from scratch and go up step by step and you can do hands on along with me whenever you face any issues you can let me know. Okay, so the very first thing, what's the difference between Playwright only and getting Playwright with PyTest plugin. Okay, so when we run the command pip install Playwright and we have seen this in the last session. When we run this, we get the core Playwright APIs and we can use this for browser automation and all the APIs that are there in the core Playwright APIs, all the features, but not the PyTest features. We don't get PyTest integration here. Okay. And what is PyTest and what all we get? We will see that in a moment. So this is what the core Playwright is. And then when we run the command pip install PyTest hyphen Playwright. So this install Playwright with the PyTest plugin and with PyTest we get some extra features and options like fixtures and CLI support, browser support and we will see this all later in the coming sessions but this is at a very high level that with PyTest we get some extra features along with the of, along with Playwright that we already have we get some extra features and this is very very useful and efficient for testing. Okay, so we can write our test using the PyTest structure that we will understand what is the PyTest structure and then we can use some fixtures like page, browser, etc. And using these fixtures, we get all the options without having to manually set up things. For example, if you don't use PyTest, you will manually set up the page, uh, you know, create the page and then add the options. But with PyTest, we can just say page and then directly start using all the web page options. And we will see this when we do coding and when we create our PyTest. So this is what we get and with PyTest we also get some options that we can use directly in the command line. Okay, so for example, what browser we want to use, do we want to use headless or headed, if you want to record videos and so many other things we can get in the command itself, we can get options in the command. Okay, so this is the difference at a high level and PyTest is a testing framework for Python. So you can use PyTest not just with Playwright but with other uh, Python libraries as well. So this is basically a testing framework for Python libraries and it can help you in creating a very efficient uh, testing project or framework. So if you just want to use Playwright just for some scripting and automating some browser actions, you may not want to use PyTest, but if you want to create a testing project or a testing framework, PyTest will be very, very helpful. It will help you in creating the structure and uh, all the options and running the tests, executing the tests, creating the tests. It will give us a lot of options. Okay, so this is at a high level, the difference between Playwright and Playwright with PyTest plugin. Now, if you have seen the last session in the earlier session, we have created a project and in the project we have just installed Playwright by saying pip install Playwright. Okay, now this is a uh, general question. If in a project, in a Python project, if I have already installed Playwright using this command pip install Playwright and now if in the same project I run the command pip install pytest Playwright what will happen? So basically we want to understand that do we have to create a separate project and then install PyTest Playwright or can we go with the same project? Do we have to first uninstall Playwright and then add PyTest Playwright? So the answer is 
there is no conflict they are compatible and often used together and you can directly if you are using a new pro project if you have created a new project you can directly run this command pip install pytest playwright and you can uh, skip this one but if you are already using a project and you have you are already using playwright and you have already executed this command you can still go with this command and you do not have to make any changes or any uninstallations okay so you can directly use this and it's just that now along with all the playwright features and options we will also get the pytest features and options okay so pip install playwright that we have already done will give us the code playwright apis and now with the pytest plugin it will add integration for the pytest options and features okay so we can use both and even if we have already using a project with playwright we can add the pytest playwright on that okay so let's see a demo and we will start with our project folder so i am going to vs code and in the last session we have already created a project and we have added that to vs code so just in case you want to see what we have done earlier you can check the last session so this is the project we have created here and in the project we have already created this first underscore test dot py which is a simple playwright test and in this project we just have playwright so if i check if i go to this command and say pip list to check the python libraries i have you can see we have all this uh, i will actually have to activate the environment because we had added that in this particular environment venv1 so i will first say venv i am pressing tab to auto complete and then i will say scripts activate okay and i am saying cls to clear the screen so now i am on this environment this is activated and now if i say pip list you can see all the things that are already added okay now i can also if i want i can deactivate by saying deactivate and it will come out of the environment and i will again go back to the environment okay so now i have to install the playwright with pytest plugin this is the command pip install pytest playwright i will say pip install pytest hyphen playwright okay and if you have installed playwright and pytest separately earlier that's also fine you can still run this command so you can hit enter and run the command okay so this is done if something is already there it will say requirement is already satisfied so don't worry on that now we will say playwright install and just to make sure that all the browser binaries are added so i will say playwright install and this will make sure that our browser support for playwright all the browser binaries are already added so this should be we should be good here okay so this we have already seen all these browser binaries will be added now we can check the installations so you can say playwright version pytest version separately or let me show you i'll say playwright hyphen hyphen version and this should show me the playwright version and yes then i can check pytest hyphen hyphen version and it is showing me pytest version also and if i say pip list it should show me all the python libraries added in this environment so you can see all this pytest pytest space url pytest playwright are now added okay all right so we have done step number three and you can also say pip show pytest playwright now so if i say pip show 
I can click this maximize panel so that it is easier for you to see also I can expand this window I will say pip show pi test playwright and hit enter so you can see it gives us all the information about pi test playwright okay so you can see here the version the summary so here you can also see it says a pytest wrapper with fixtures for playwright to automate web browsers okay and you can see this is the home page if just if you just want you can also check this link okay so if you go to this link it will show you so here this is this will take you to this pytest play playwright plugin github page and you can see here this support all these browsers and all the executions headed and headless built-in fixtures that provide browser primitive to test functions so this is what we will see when we run some examples okay so this is done now let us create a very simple test and with pytest when you create your file always add this test underscore so that when you run the pytest command it will check the files having this test and then it will run those files unless uh, you otherwise if you specifically give the file name okay so let's create a file test underscore sample in our project so i will just click here to create a new file say test underscore sample dot py okay and i will add this code so as of now i am adding a simple test and i will try to run it with pytest command so i will say def test example and you can see i am also getting this auto suggestion and auto completion okay so if i press tab it will auto complete and all this assert and everything is i can directly assert without having to without i have to add extra statements for verification okay so this is a pytest test example and to run it i will just say pytest and give the file name so i will go to the command line and i will say pytest and i will say test underscore and hit tab it should take it and i will run and check and you can see it says passed because our session has passed just in case i my session fails i will say something else here one plus one four which should fail and now if i run the test again this will fail the assertion and it will give us the details as well okay so this is how we can run a simple pi test now if you want to try a actual playwright test along with pytest you can try that as well and you can actually uh, you know just search online or you can also take help from ai chats like chat gpt if i say write a playwright pytest script to open a browser and go to google.com and verify the title so you will get some example and we can also use copilot which is inbuilt vs code and i have shown this in the last session so you can see this is what a pi test with playwright look like a playwright pi test code will look like so you can see this is a function okay and this is what we are starting here with sync playwright and here you can see we have got context and page now you can see with this page i can directly say go to this link and then i can assert that this is the title and then close it so this is how you can also try a playwright pi test okay although in the coming session we will see in more detail a test with playwright and pi test okay 
Now let us very quickly see what features and options do we get with the PyTest plugin or Playwright with PyTest. So there are built-in fixtures like page, browser, context, etc. And you can directly use them without having to do any manual setup. So you can get a lot of uh, features and also extra command line options that you can directly run from command line uh, along with the command you can add some options so if you just search for uh, let us say you search for playwright pytest features this should take you to the official documentation you can see yes this is here this is coming from the playwright official documentation and if you just go here you can see here uh, there are a lot of things you can use for example along with the command you can say hyphen hyphen browser the browser name and then do you want it in a headless mode or a headed mode you can directly run this you can see a lot of cli arguments you can add along with pytest command like headed browser browser channel if you want to run in a slow motion you can also add dev devices output directory tracing video screenshots full page screenshots all these options you can add in the commands then you can see fixtures are there you can add all these fixtures so context page so whenever you just say page it will open a new browser page for testing and then using that page you can also then add all the options and this is what we have seen in this example also here you can see page we have added page context and then using page we can run all these browser actions like go to etc okay so this is again very handy and we have all these other scopes okay browser browser channel so you can check this you can also see some examples are here if you want to try them out you can try these examples as well okay so we don't have to do any automatic browser setup we have options for doing tracing video screenshot etc and we have cli options and flags for all these things and we can directly run the command using different options okay and we have already seen some cli options okay so i will also show you some of these in the coming sessions and i will keep a link for a quiz in the description of this video so after uh, doing hands-on and after watching this you can also take the quiz and you can let me know your score in the comment section i hope this was useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning